Hey guys, uh, I'm working on the Malibu today, uh, just making some progress. Don't really know where this video is going to lead. Um, doing a few things with the engine bay, trying to work my way towards um, getting ready to install the engine. I can see that I've already got uh, a few issues to deal with. Um, I'm not sure what I've got for parts. Uh, I could be missing something. I don't know. It's looking that way. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure where this video is going to go, but uh, it's going to work towards Malibu progress. So uh, there's the Malibu. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, hopefully this is fun. We'll see. So I've been cleaning up in here. Uh, I've got to paint all this, put it up on the lift, and... Paint all this with uh, some rust paint where the uh, new brake booster and master cylinders, I could paint that. Um, I'm also going to change the heater core while I'm uh, screwing around. Um, I have a new one, so it's a good time to do it while it's out. And then I'm just going to finish cleaning up the engine bay, try and get ready to put things in there. Uh, okay, I got things... Uh, Kind of cleaned up and painted up a little bit here. Um, nothing too fancy, just a quick shot of uh, some DOM 16 um, over top of rusty, crappy crap. Anyway, um, I need to make some um, motor mount clamshells. See, so there's supposed to be a bracket that goes over top of these motor mounts and I don't have it um, it's probably on one of the engines that was in this thing at one time and I don't have them anymore so I need to make some sort of brackets that match up to my LS adapter brackets that I have um, so I guess that's what I'm gonna work on now uh, out of necessity yeah uh, so this will be fun. Back over to uh, the shop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there's the engine. Try not to make you too dizzy here. So we're back on the shop side. Got a little bit of everything happening here. I found the, uh, the shifter. So I sprayed it with some crap, try and get it loosened up. Uh, I can't find my cover for it yet. So I'm not sure if that's gone and I'll have to get another one or if uh, I'll find it somewhere. I'm not sure. These are my LS adapter brackets. Um, so it talks about in the instructions, it talks about bolting them to the engine with these uh, M10 cap screws. Uh, and then it talks about bolting these clamshells to those motor mounts. Um, so these clamshells here that would have been on the 350 Chevy or whatever that was in it will bolt to these flat adapter plates. And then one giant bolt goes through here through the motor mount that's on the frame that I just showed you a second ago. Um, so I don't have this red part. So I'm going to have to make one. Um, we'll see how that goes. So I made up a template for my little ear. Uh, I cheated. I have um, a new motor mount that I'm not going to use actually. Um, that I can use as a template or for my template. I'm going to make this ear that goes in here so it'll, it can pivot a little bit. I'll put a 10 degree angle on it. I'm going to pop a hole in there on the metal piece. And uh, I just need to transfer this, uh, this template to the metal, cut it out. And then it'll be two of these and then a flat piece that goes across the top and that flat piece then 
will bolt to this when the uh, when this is bolted to the engine. So I've just got some more fabrication to do. So I'll give you a little fabrication trick that uh, I do. Um, it's kind of uh, fixing being a hack. Um, so first thing, I'm using this uh, little metal uh, skill saw. Uh, works good up to a quarter inch. You gotta take your time, but just leaves little filings and not um, dust. Um, when you're marking something out for that saw because it's got this little increment there on the front, that little uh, cutaway that's supposed to be your straight line. Uh, you can't see that where it stops here, so you have to extend the lines longer than what your piece is so you can have a guide for cutting. Um, so the other thing is, um, because that's a pretty crude way to cut things, um, and I don't have a plasma table or anything like that. Um, what I do is I'll cut it out rough and I can see that, you know, I've cut my four pieces here and they're all just a little bit different. Right? If you look, you know, just quite, this isn't a precise job, so I didn't do it with layout blue and a scribe or anything. So. So what I do is I take the smallest one that I like the best and I'll finish this. I'll put my radiuses on the corners that I'm going to put on with the radius gauge. I'll lay it all out. I'll clean it all up and I'll have it all the way I want it. And then what I'll do is I'll stick it in the vise and I will buff, grind, or file uh, the rest of them so they're the same size as that one. Um, and then what will happen at the end is all four will be the exact same piece. Uh, like I said, I'm uh, not getting terribly precise, like with layout blue and a scribe and all that stuff. Um, but I want, want them to be uniform and consistent. Um, no one's going to get into my motor mount and, and measure it. But uh, I want them all to be the same. So that way the bracket stays nice and square and straight. So what I'll do is I'll do all my work on this one and then I'll copy it for the other three.
So now that I've got them all cleaned up, saw what I did there. You can see that they're, you know, they're without, we're within a sixteenth of each other, which is more than acceptable for something like this. Um, I will, uh, and they're all, see, they're all pretty close to each other. This is going to go like that. And then a flat plate across the top. Next step, I got to mark this out center and uh, knock some holes in these things um, for the uh, bolt that I'm going to use, which I got to find. Okay. So I've got these guys all made up and they're all the same. Holes are drilled. They're kind of cleaned up. And then I made up some plates. They're the same. So now I'm going to have to mark these out and set them up to be drilled. So that way I can bolt through and uh, bolt them to this plate. So, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Show you when I'm done. Okay, so I've got my plates done with my holes drilled. And I've figured out my spacing on what I want my ears to be. I'm, these aren't the bolts I'm going to use. These are just bolts I'm using to space it and lock it in place so it doesn't uh, so it stays square. Uh, I just need to uh, put them on there and uh, weld them on. Hey, so thanks for watching. I got these all done and uh, wrapped up. Um, I've just got to let them cool down and then I'll throw some primer on them, some paint. Um, just clean them up a little bit. Um, but they turned out quite well. Uh, I was kind of bummed out today not having the clamshells, so this all worked out. To, it always feels good to fabricate something. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you found this interesting. And this is just another uh, section to the Malibu LS swap and getting it back on the road. And uh, hopefully I'll get it in sometime. And then I got to build a trans cross member. I'll probably do a video on that too. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please, uh, if you care to, uh, subscribe and share with your friends and all that good stuff. Uh, stay safe and uh, thanks for watching.